Now that we've set things up by saying that our language and use of language is the coach's life's work, I want to take this moment to highlight how important it is for coaches to consistently challenge themselves with the length of their questions and observations. There is an art to the ability to be efficient, to be able to leverage a brief, impactful question. But there's also a science to it as well. The best scoring assessments that I've seen over the past five years are always the ones where the coach is offering the briefest possible question. On average, they're able to make the most of their language so that every question or every observation is pared down to the most important elements, not over-explaining as we've talked about before, not trying to qualify or stacking or repeating questions, but rather being mindful, taking time, challenging themselves to not only be patient for the question, but also to let that first one go, even if it's a bit messy. It creates the greatest experience for the client, the most consistency of impact from the coach. There's an art to coaching when it comes to the brevity of our questions and observations. So this is your learning edge, something that this week, especially with your practice in session and out of session, I want to challenge you with to be very cognizant of the length of questions that you are asking. And as you hear yourself offer longer questions, not to correct them, but to say, hmm, okay, let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try again. Each question and observation is a way for you to pair things down to the core of what needs to be said, needs to be asked, to make the most space for the client to respond and think. Again, the goal here as you stretch yourself is not to correct yourself with each question, but as you observe how that one question went, think about how you could make an adjustment for the next question, how you could pare things down next time. I hope this is helpful, this sense of taking a pause, asking the question, a little bit of self-assessment, and improvement, if applied to your coaching and everyday relationships and conversations. You will grow with this learning edge, and it will make more and more impact for your clients. It is your life's work, though. It takes time. You need to be mindful of this intention and area of growth in order to make the most of it. Thank you for growing as a coach.